in the real estate, we have many asset classes, right? Mm-hmm. What are the different asset classes do you choose to invest and in and why? Yeah, so I, I'm, a, I'm an owner operator, right? Like I, I'm like you, Prashant, I, I buy multifamily deals, I operate them, I have investors invest alongside me. So I'm, I'm heavily in multifamily, like that's my niche, right? Mm-hmm. But what I like to do is also be vertically integrated, right? Mm-hmm. So within company, within the company, I have construction management, we have asset management, we have institutional underwriting, we also do, um, we, we source our materials directly from Asia to in bulk, so we reduce our costs, right? And I've been doing that for the last eight years. Mm-hmm. That is all about creating vertical integration or another word for it, business ecosystem. So when you're looking for a sponsor or you're looking for people to invest in understanding what their ecosystem looks like is really powerful to helping making sure the investor knows that, okay, they control the, the construction, they control the property manager, or they control the suppliers, or they control, you know, how they manage the asset. They're all so important because it's, you know, you, you make money when you buy, but you lose it through bad management. And that includes both asset management and property management. So investing with the right team is really important and understanding what that ecosystem looks like is extremely important. Uh, to your to your point of what other asset classes are there? Well, you just mentioned earlier, you know, um, uh, assisted living, right? It's a really, it's another thing that, you know, we're an aging population. I get older every single day. Every time I, you know, if I get off this podcast, I'm going to be 30 minutes older than what I was 30 minutes ago. And, and people are getting older and there's a need for decent care at, that, at, at a certain stage in life. Another really great resilient uh, recession resilient asset class is self storage, right? We, as as consumers, we're constantly getting more crap, and houses are getting small, and our living spaces are getting small. But we still seem to be consuming more stuff, so we need to put it somewhere. Well, we need. Why don't we put it in a shed? And we'll pay someone to who owns that shed to keep it there. You know, that is these are these are good asset classes to be investing in. There's other asset classes like retail, hotels, you know, parking structures. Um, mobile home parks. There's all there's all these different asset classes out there in the commercial realm, but understanding what the risk is for each of those asset classes is really important. And it goes back to what I mentioned earlier about well, multifamily or, or housing is a class that is going to be needed for for decades, for centuries to come because we all need what food and shelter. So I like to invest in multifamily and, and, that, and that's what I've built my business around. But I've also then built the business within that, which is an ecosystem of making sure I'm controlling all the facets of it. So we manage the asset correctly and we reduce you know, our overall costs and help increase the ROI for our investors. So your approach is to build, take one asset class and, and kind of control it completely from all perspective, you know, whether it is construction management, property management, Security. As best I can, as, as best the, I can. Yeah. Very yeah. good. I, yeah. I like that approach actually very much. And the reason I say that is, you know, the, the, the more and more focused you become, you end up having more and more expansion. I know it is kind of conundrum, uh, but uh, to me, it is true also when I can go deeper in one area, my knowledge increases tremendously, which potentially can be helpful in other areas also. That's right. That's right. But I will, I will say, Prashant, that as a passive investor to your listeners out there, the beauty about what we do is that there's many other operators out there that do exactly what I do. And yeah. I encourage everyone listening to the show, if you want to be a passive investor, invest that $50,000 I kept telling you, invest a little bit with me, let, let, invest a little bit with Prashant, invest a little bit with someone down the road. You get to then diversify, right? We, we are experts in, in what we do. But you as a passive investor get to have the optionality of diversification across not only operators, but different asset classes. So maybe there's a self-storage deal you might want to go look at. There's a there's a senior living. I know someone on this show who does senior living, right? There's multifamily. Like, so then you can get asset class diversification within your own little portfolio. And again, it's all under the guise of commercial real estate, but it is just another example of why it's it's good for operators to be an inch wide and a mile deep. But as a passive investor, you can spread out your risk across many operators and across many asset classes. Awesome.